What's going on, everybody? It is Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are back in Wreckfest once again here today. Continuing on with part two of the Lingus Trials here, hitting the second layout available, the Lingus Fast Reverse layout, which I'm assuming is the fast layout, which we've already done, just flipped around. So hopefully we'll have some good luck with this today, running the NASCAR Legends again, of course, so let's get into it. And off we go now for attempt number one on layout number two. As everybody swerves to the outside, they're gonna hit that piece of wall that hangs out. What a bunch of dummies. As the pileup is ensuing right from the start. Bunch of cars going up and over. I don't know if I can even consider that a turn one meme because I don't even think we made it to turn one yet. It's like big T-bone right in front of us. Greg Golding eats some big ones and I dump Carl Edwards right from the start. Now that you love to see. Oh, Greg Golding, he's not giving up. He's coming up the inside and he's gone. Oh, I turned in way too early for the corner. That is a 400 IQ racing maneuver, and I've just eaten the outside wall, and I'm now packed on top of it. Nice, neat, great, and grand. Now, how do I get off here? Do I need the reset, or do I need to just get owned by Steve Park and then just brutally destroyed by many others? Apparently, the latter is the answer. Man, when it falls apart, it really falls apart out here. I can just shell all these lunatics to the outside. Oh no, Ricky had the same idea about me and then he just got rid of us. He shoved us into the pile and discarded of us like trash. And now I gotta try and get back on the racing surface. Holy air time. Landed it beautifully, but then punched Grey Galding square in the mouth and we're gonna keep going like nothing even happened. And there is problems up here in front of me. The 19 just got blasted after death. Gave him one for the road that is a problem. We got Bobble, ha Bobble, there it is. Bobble Hamilton misses the corner entirely. Oh, we got the 52 putting the bumper to the back of the four up here in front of us, just disposed of him. Ryan Truex using plays out of my playbook right here to get rid of the bums, and we're gonna use one on him, and it didn't work at all, even remotely. And we're up on top of the bankman, just chilling over here. That was a move from the book of scrubs, of which I am the author as I collect even more cards, and we're gonna get piled right into the passenger door. Go flying, and Ricky Rudd has once again laid it on us here. See if we can get rid of him. He's barely clinging on. There you go. Ricky Rudd is out of the race. See you later. Got Carl Edwards over here causing a ruckus. What are you doing, buddy? He's all over the place, and so am I. There's a corpse in the road, and I have spun it out. And I guess we'll do this part in reverse. Oh, Elliot Sadler up in the 28th, losing it into the wall, into stop cars. Carl Edwards is trying to take me out, and he has. You bump. Must have thought I was Brad Keselowski because he decided I needed to die right then and there. And he's gonna beat me to the line too. That piece of trash. I'll remember this, Carl. I will remember this. We come home to a ninth place finish. How abysmal. Get out of the way, DW. I will bully you until no end to give me that inside lane. And look at the profits being made right now by this inside lane. Oh, they might be coming to an end. They are indeed coming to an end as we just did a beautiful barrel roll and somehow walked right out of it. We're not gonna ask too many questions. I'm just gonna take out Steve Park and keep on rolling. Could it be? It is! It's the man himself, the Rocket Man. In the grade eight even, we did kind of blow by him like it was nothing but irrelevant. He is alive, well, and in the race, and that's what matters. And speaking of being in the race, look at this specimen ahead of us. Can you believe who it is? It's Danica Patrick, keep her away from me. Oh no, and then we just slap doors with the 22 viciously. And Neil Bonnet throws me off to the side of the track like trash. And they were all piling up over there. Oh, Newman put it in the wall right there. And I think he might be out of the race. And we're gonna get by a gaggle of cars right here. Not a gaggle of bibbles, but a gaggle of cars. And not gonna be able to hold off Bill Elliott out of the corner. So I'll give him a bump draft, which is about the most unstraight bump draft of all time. And I dumped him and then we just destroy Ray Black Jr. and send him into a tumble. And he bounces off my roof. We're going to a detour into the grass back on the track. Get that orange cone out of here. And we have completed what might be the most hectic lap that we've ever seen. Watch out up here. Oh, Kyle Petty's running into everybody right now. We're gonna barely make it through the gap and dump Matt Kenseth on the way through. You hate to see it. And I gotta take avoiding action and I am climbing the wall. The Tony Hawk grind is back and we never asked it to return. What was that wreck fest? I don't think we're gonna get an answer. Harry Gant has one, so maybe we should just take that for what it's worth. So we sent it to the final corner. Uh, oh, I'm gonna clip the end of it again there, but it won't matter. We just have a hellacious crash across the finish line and somehow scrounge up four. 
Oh, DW, what are you doing? Aggressively trying to get to that outside lane when all they're going to do is wreck out there anyway. You big dummy. Way to go. The 400 IQ maneuvers return. And Steve Park showing one off right away. Elliot Sadler jumping over top of me and landing on my trunk. Just what I needed. Oh, and no one cracks. It gets dumped. And I just put him head onto a concrete barrier, and that sounded vicious behind us. I'm going to send it in on Ryan Truex here as well to get out a lucky 13. We're just going to punt him straight to the wall and keep moving on. Oh, Neil Bond, it's all out of shape right in front of us, and we're collected in the mess. That is not good. And then we bounce off Dale Sr. in a Kowicki car as well. How about that? Neil Bonnet, Dale Sr. This reminds me of the documentary I was watching like a week ago about Neil Bonnet. What a show that was. Neil Bonnet, what a man. Got Bobby Isaac in the 22, though, and we got to get rid of the 22 car at all costs. It's basically a requirement to get rid of him for the fan. Oh, 97 has wanted it up right at the finish line, and we are coming in so hot. I think we're going to miss the first corner, and we do. And then we meet with Elliot Sadler, and he gets pummeled by a line of cars that we are gonna have to sneak by here and finally enter the first corner and then get run over by Junior Johnson, whom I left plenty of room for. Thank you very much, but we'll, I guess, complain about that at a later date in time because we've got a problem up here in front of us and it is such a problem that I have died because of it. Wow. Leave me the spot. Oh, please leave the spot, 97. He almost didn't, but he did. Oh, and the C Park gets turned and that's gonna hook me and we are going in reverse once again. A tire check and a sign check and a reverse check and a pile up check as we're getting swept up and we're going up and over and we're going out of the race because the 19 landed on my engine. Neat. Oh, DW, DW doesn't want to let go. DW, please let go. Don't hook me in the process, please. All right, I guess we'll just bounce off the concrete wall and keep going. It makes a great sound when you hit it. Just absolutely just whack. And then we hook Ryan Newman into the wall. That is tragic. And this is just a mess up here. We got tires going everywhere, cars going everywhere, and somehow we're going to sneak onto the podium here on the opening lap, and I don't have a clue as to how, but we have to somehow now get to Matt Kenseth and Greg Golding if I don't get turned from behind, and I do. Bums! Alex LeBay up here, he's taking it kind of easy, so we'll send it right up his inside on the final lap here. The two cars just gonna miss the corner entirely, so good for him, I guess. He was lapped down anyway, so that doesn't bother us. This, however, does get out of the way. Why are you stopped in the middle of the track? That's gonna be a reset all day, and then what a grand time for the car to unghost. Fantastic. Oh, the Terminators are out today. Ray Black Jr. has won a race. We are still searching for that first career dub as we get packed after the race is over. Oh my, that pileup will never not be vicious, I guess. Come on, boys. Oh, it's, it's my buddy Ray Black Jr., recent race winner. Well, buddy, I guess I had to turn you as payback for winning a race before I did. But it's water under the bridge. I promise you that. Now we just need to try and survive, which isn't very easy to do. Oh, man, especially when cars you hit come back and hit you in the back and you don't even know why or what caused them to do such a thing. As we take out the 96, we'll get through this corner up to fourth. Oh, my God, Steve Park. Why? Holy crap. I think I just managed to hit every single car that was sitting there. How? I don't know. But ask Steve Park. Into the final corner now. You know the drill. Did we win? No, of course not. Will we ever win? Probably not. But we did finish second, so we got that going for us. Oh my, the one car just getting tossed over everybody else and relegating us to the inside once again here. So I'm just gonna let all these guys pile themselves up and we're gonna bounce off the 97 and get through it easily. And now I've got the 22 to deal with. Let's see if I can pass him cleanly for once today. Oh, I might not. I'll just jump him wide instead. That works too. Oh, he comes back on me. The 22 has a memory, boys. We might be in trouble. Coming through the danger zone now, bouncing off a couple of them. Oh my goodness, Ben Rose just going over the embankment. So that'll give us second. And then Matt Kenseth, the leader, just comes out across the track and we plow through him. And the Crisco car is just a victim. And we take the lead. Oh, I hate this part of the track. And this is why the 52 is just laying dead in the road. What are you doing, you bum? Oh, and then Bobby Hamilton. Bobble Hamilton just gonna come in and do the work. Get a shot in on me as well. And now Ben Rhodes has stolen my lead back from me. And I don't know if I have enough time to re-catch him. 
because this is pretty much a straight shot to the finish line. Are you kidding me? This is a joke. Ben Rhodes is going to steal my dub. The Terminators work together to cut that one away from me, basically. Oh, Ricky Rudd, I'm not trying to hook you, buddy. But I did. But I plain and simply did. And there's nothing we can do about that now other than have Ben Rhodes pay me back a little bit after stealing my win. Then he runs into me on the start. I can't believe this. Holy Dale Sr. in the seven car, where are you going? Oh, and then me and Steve Parker are going to come together for the 6,000th time today. And I'm going to be spun around once again, which is exactly what I needed in this race. Oh, we got a Ryan Newman mounting another car back there. That's very interesting. Oh, senior in the seven coming out of the woodwork of the grass. He was hanging out in the infield for a second there. What am I witnessing here in front of me with this Crisco car? They are both trying to wreck. And what am I seeing on my screen right now? Those words are forbidden. Dan Patrick has won a race, apparently. And we're going to slide across the finish line and get blasted by the Crisco car in sixth. But wait a minute. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very serious problem on our hands. Danica Patrick is winning races. This is an even bigger problem than me taking out me and Elliot Sather at the start of the race. She won a race before we did today. Now, does that mean I should just retire? Should I just give up? Just shut it down after this? Never. I will never shut it down. I can never give up. I can always get hooked though. We're going flying over the embankment. Oh my God. And we're going to land it on the dirt road back here and drive it out like nothing even happened. That was beautiful. What was that? I don't even know what's going on here anymore. All I know is I want to survive. And the game won't even let me do that. I can't even simply make a core anymore without meeting my demise. I'm stuck, so that's going to be a reset. Beautiful. Bill Elliott's flying through. He just nails the 22 cents, his hood into orbit. That you love to see. Noah Gragson, of course, had to stick his nose out there. Of course he did. There's Danica. She's driving the 77. Maybe it was good luck for her. Maybe that's how she got the dub. She used the power of those sevens. Oh, Ryan Rocket Man Newman coming up on you quick again, buddy. Come on, I'll race you. Oh, you gotta let me in though. Come on, there we go. Oh, we're dooring each other. You're going straight to the wall. What are you doing? There's a corner there, buddy. Oh no, Ryan Newman. Major F in the chat. Oh, we got the roadblock coming up here. Why? Literally, why? What do you achieve by this? Well, there you have it. One of the most abysmal races I've ever experienced in the whole of my life ends in another sixth place finish. Oh man, 97 going over this time in the in the straight. You hate to see that. And we've broken off into a pretty small pack right here. And I'm gonna drive underneath Steve Park. What the hell? We're finding all new ways to get over on Steve Park today. Oh. Coming into the danger zone here, and there has been plenty of danger. There's cars wrecking everywhere. Ben Rhodes off to the side, and we take the lead. What the heck is going on? I don't know. Oh, my goodness, boys. It is the final lap. Danica Patrick is wrecking it in the first corner, but we're going to sneak by with a scrape. Can we get through the danger zone with our life intact? One more time, please, game. Let me do it. I cannot believe it. At long last, we are going to come cross this line. And we are gonna take the dub. Oh, the glorious dub is all ours, ladies and gentlemen. Now that is a sight to behold and a beautiful thing. We have now taken down two layouts of Lingus in the Lingus trials. But you know, I've got a clock just off to my corner here and I've still got plenty of time to sit here and play today. So this video is not even close to over. Let's go hit another layout. All right, and we are underway on our first attempt with Lingus original. The third layout we're trying today, and I'm gonna assume, of course, that this is the original layout of the track, and cars are going flying in the first corner again. Oh my word, cars just missed the corner entirely. Just went flying over another embankment. Beautiful. Oh, and then I'm gonna hook Jeffrey Earnhardt, and we're gonna get out of there somehow with our life, and somehow with fourth. Oh, this is gonna be a massive tire check right here, one of the biggest ever out of the final corner, and that is a lap completed. So basically, the only variation is that this little kink is here, and we just T-bone Matt Tip right in the door. That had to hurt. That was in the driver's door. Got Michael Self up here, the guy who wins the Arca Daytona race every year, I'm pretty sure. We've got Jordan Anderson for the lead, who just wrecked himself. And then we piled into him. And now it's a race of who can get back in the right direction quick enough. Oh, come on. This is a literal drag race between me and Jordan Anderson. How fitting that he's in the three. But we just let Bobby Isaac steal the lead from us. No, and then Jordan's gonna spin out. No. 
Oh, well, we got cars running into cars up here. A little tail end tire check there. Uh, this is a dash to the finish through the danger zone here. Let's see, there's a, there's he is, there he is. We gotta send it. We have to send it. We are not close enough and we are not gonna make it. Not even close to making it. Bobby Isaac will steal my dub once again. And then I get a jump start from the pack here from Matt Tift. And it's a drag race to the finish between me and Matt Tift. What a finish for third that was. How about it? Oh, don't squeeze me in the middle, boys. And you did. Jimmy Spencer was one of them, of course. Where's the crying towel when you need it? 77's running me off the road again, but this time it's not Danica. So we got that going for us, I guess. But once again, we're going to get a magnificent start up on the podium already. Look at this mess up here as the leaders are wrecking themselves. And me and Mario and Dreddy are going to have a big coming together. And I sent him into a barrel roll. Holy moly. Oh, Danica, get out of the way. Why are we doing this? No, 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 no. Damn you, Danica. Why? Oh, the packery. Look at the destruction. And I'm right back to second like nothing even happened, like Danica wasn't even there. Peep, Robbie Lyons in the lead, but potentially not for long if I can catch up to him. No, no, no. No, this is not allowed, and something has happened to Robbie. And no, oh, oh, I'm sorry, Robbie. I'm, I'm really sorry, buddy. I really am. Come on, now we gotta get Jeffrey. Danger zone problem. Oh, 77 laying in the weeds. Just to sabotage me there and take me out. I guarantee it. You bum. Chase Cabre or Caber, or however you say your name. I'm not that familiar with you yet, but catches us out there and Jeffrey Earnhardt gets the dub instead. Look at this squeeze. Fireball Roberts, guess you're going up and over. And I guess Jordan Anderson is as well. <laughs> Sending a few of them flying right off the bat there. And a bunch of them going wide. Me and Danica gonna make a little more contact. Just what we needed today. You know what else we need today though? You know the rules. Get rid of the 22 at all costs at all times. Michael Self back here again. See those Arca breaks. Make an appearance they don't. A little arc of steering. No, Robbie Gordon's going to get dumped and Chase is invisible for some reason. And then Michael Self just launches me. Yes, that's what I get for mentioning Arca breaks in his presence. I guess maybe they don't like that. And Junior Don's going to run straight through me. Oh, Eric Almarola driving right through my door. Holy crap. That would have been a bad one to feel. Indeed, we are super beat up now. Final lap now. So I'm not even going to be close to making this corner. So I guess we'll take the jump like the AI do and cut straight through it. And we're going to be beautiful out here. Bouncing off of Junior Johnson. I'm surprised they let you cut through that without having to reset. It's kind of cheap. Eric Elmerol is losing right in front of us. And we get shoved by Jeffrey Earnhardt in with the push to pack. And Danica Patrick stuck over on the side of the wall. And we are toast. We are destroyed. And it is all over the push to pack ended my life. Excuse me, Jimmy. Excuse me, Almirola. Getting right to that inside into the tire check immediately. And then I spin myself out. And I'm going to get T-boned by Jimmy Spencer and run underneath that Jeffrey Earnhardt. I don't know how the physics on that just worked, but I just did the most weird, like, in-place barrel roll of all time. And then I get hooked again. Just trying to drive by. All right, gang, you want me to do this in reverse? I'll do it in reverse. Watch out, I'm gonna roll up. Okay, this is fine. This is not fine. This is far from fine. This could not be farther from fine. Oh. Man, I'm pushing my way through the middle. This is a bad idea. I just got wheelied by Jordan Anderson behind me, and I still am because Chase Cabre is invisible again. So we're going to go ahead and cut through, and this time, I don't think it's going to let me. And we have to hit the reset. Now, that is jank. I'm going to work the first time and not that time. I call shenanigans, and I just called Bobby Isaac out of this race. I'm pretty sure oh, he's barely clinging on, but not by much you poor soul i'm just gonna let you hang out there and regather yourself we're gonna go ahead and move on danica's corpse is laying on the track that's a bit of a problem oh t-bone alert right in front of us that was a double and then jeffrey earnhardt coming out of the woodwork he timed his a little bit poorly i think he was aiming for me and he missed and then i get launched by the curve what is going on and then jeffrey earnhardt gets his revenge and i'm stuffed in the wall we're just gonna hit a reset i don't have time for this today i don't have time for this anymore those cars sitting where I want to be corner cutting. Marco and Dreddy, you're killing me out here, buddy. That's not cool. And I got a wrecking assist. I'm triggered. Fireball, Roberts, what are you doing? Coming all the way across the track to take yourself out on me. We got to start calling this like the second danger zone of this track. This place is like a stretch of death, Brad Clear or something. I don't know. 
What? What was that? The miniest of mini packs? You know, I think turn one. Oh, it's like it's squeezed. It's actually where push to pack is probably most well represented. Uh, as I am just getting wrecked out here for absolutely no reason. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Jimmy Spencer, once again. Got the crying towel always on standby for me, and I do need it. Oh, Jeffrey got knocked into us a little bit, but we're keeping it going. We're good. Dick Brooks, my man. I haven't seen Dick Brooks in a little bit. Where'd he go? Glad he's back. This name list is new and improved. We got everybody out here. You never know who's going to pop up in front of you, like Bobby Isaac getting packed by me, and then we just shove Dick Brooks out of the way. And Drew Johnson's just going to reverse it into me, and somebody else gets credit for taking him out of the race. And if you could get out of my way, that would be great, people. Or I could just do a barrel down the stretch of death. That works, too. No biggie land on the Kodak car. This is all part of my dynamic scheme to win this race. It's no big deal. It's no problem whatsoever. Just want a clean final lap. 98, you want to get out of the way or not? We'll send you in the barrel roll anyway, buddy. Ron Bouchard, see you later in the one coming out of the woodwork in Terminator mode. Coming to get us, but he couldn't do it. Robbie Gordon does, though, you bum. No, I don't need this on the last lap. I'm in the second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Leader's losing a lot of time here in the danger zone. I got him in the 22 and he's spinning himself out. He crashed. He wrecked himself in the final corner of the last lap. And that is going to hand the dub over to me. What a race and what a finish. That has to be one of our most improbable wins of all time as we are rolling it after the checkers. We started the last lap in like eighth place and we came around to take the checkers in the win. How does that work out? I have no idea, but Brennan Gunn has to be sick right now, so. Ladies and gentlemen, you gotta hit the like button for that one and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you wanna see more Lingus Trials because there is still plenty more layouts for us to get to. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.